There's a little technique I'm about to show you that I only just came across. Somebody showed me when I was running a training course and I've been using Excel for 25 years. So let's have some fun. Let's show a few different techniques and build a fun little dashboard. Let's go. So check this out. You can pick best case, the card visual changes, the chart changes. We even get a smiling face on the person or worst case, we get tears. You know, this is a bit of fun, but also showing you how to do this card visual and a little hack about how to put this label in as well. So let's just set the scene. We've got some scenarios here. OK, and all I want to do is be able to toggle. So this little cell here, I have named it selected case. OK, I've just clicked on the cell, called it selected case. And it's just referencing that cell. OK, then these um, I've got a little match X match function. So it says, hey, grab that selected case and find which column it lines up to. OK, so it's saying number four, one, two, three, four, worst case. That's because I picked worst case there. OK, it's the fourth column along. And then this little formula just says, grab me, index me the fourth column from this row. OK, so there's my little toggle to toggle between the cases. And I've just got a, a little simple sum. I've given this a name. This is important for setting these sorts of things up. OK, so again, in here, it's called total for card. Right now, how do we do the card visual? Well, let me just start a new page. You go insert a shape. OK, it doesn't really matter what shape you do. I quite like the round one. I hold shift when I drag to make keep the proportions the same. Give it a bit of white fill. But the important thing. Equals and then you can go and click on whatever value you want to refer to. Um, and because I named it, if I go and click on it, it puts total for card in the actual formula, which is great because then I can copy this card anywhere. So there's my total. Brilliant. OK. Change it around here. Open this up. Um, change it to a different font size and we're all good. OK. Then you can add some shadow. So shape format, a bit of shape effect, go a bit of glow maybe and a bit of shadow. Uh, let's go shadow down there as well. OK, turn off your grid lines there under the view tab. Grid lines off, headings off so it looks a bit more dashboardy. OK, and this is dynamic. So let me just show you if I actually cut this and put it onto the report page. OK, when we change this. We're getting different answers. OK, brilliant. But the little hack that I, somebody showed me on a training course the other day was you can click inside here, which is weird, press enter and type in whatever you want the label to be. Now, I had no idea this was even possible. OK, so home, I'm just going to change, reduce the font size. OK, and it's still dynamic, which is pretty cool. OK, I really like that. OK, uh, the chart was pretty straightforward. I just went to the scenarios page, highlighted this, insert and I can go a chart. And then you just pick one of the ones you like up here and do some editing, take off the background color if you want. Right click, fill and just go no fill or white. Yeah, so you can do those sorts of things. And I just copied or cut and pasted that chart on. OK, so that was pretty straightforward. Got rid of the title. And again, it's all dynamic. Which is great. And then the smiling, laughing, crying person. OK, how do you do that? Well, on this emotions sheet, OK, I have got this cell. That cell here is named and it's a bit of a bigger cell. I made it a bit bigger. It's named happy. OK, I've gone in there and named it. I've named this cell concerned and I've named this cell very sad. OK. And then I've got a little lookup cell here called emotion and it's looking up from the report table. OK, so if I go back here, this little table here, if somebody picks best case, it's going to refer to the happy named range. 
If somebody picks mid case, it's going to refer to the concerned mid range. Okay, so that's all that is. That's that's changing as somebody changes the toggle um, for the case they've selected. But then how do I get it to show up? Well, what you do is under formulas, name manager. Okay, I've got this indirect image. And all I've got is the function equals indirect emotion. Okay, which is the name of this cell here. So it's indirectly going to grab whatever's in the concerned range or the concerned cell. So this is how you set this up. Okay, you have to do it this way. It's a bit weird. So you just go, uh, you can go define name. You can say new name and you type into the formula box indirect emotion or whatever this cell is called that contains the reference to whatever you want to return. Okay, it's a bit weird, but let's show, let's show this. If I then just simply copy this cell, okay, and right click and paste as linked image, okay, paste linked image, okay, so it's got a link in it, link picture, and then you change this formula to refer to that indirect one, so equals indirect image, okay, it'll actually change as you choose a different category, which is pretty cool, okay? So that then gets put into a cartoon image here. You can find those under insert icons and under icons, there's cartoon people with all sorts of folks in here, okay? And different faces and all sorts of fun stuff. So check it out, um, have a play, and there's a bit of fun. A couple of different techniques using named ranges, using XLOOKUP, all good stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Catch you later.